Kampala capital city is embracing electric mobility. The launch of Freedom Commercial Electric Vehicles in Bwaise, a Kampala suburb, drew immense interest and enthusiasm. The environmentally friendly electric vehicles present a cost-effective alternative to conventional vehicles. By reducing the number of vehicles using fuel in terms of, of uh, petrol and diesel to replace them with some which are using power in terms of electricity, we will also curb down the level of uh, environmental pollution by by uh, actually improving and increasing on the number. As the world gravitates towards sustainable solutions, Freedom Electric Vehicles is lauded by the local leadership of Kawempe Division for standing at the forefront of revolutionizing Uganda's transportation sector. Along with the way, even individuals will start buying these vehicles. Now, when you look at the advantage, if the advantage being emphasized is to go buy, if the charging cost is going to be 40,000 and you are going to move about 250 kilometers or above, above that, that means two and four you are, you are charging twice at 80,000 and you will have covered 500 kilometers. To me, that would be advantageous even to the, to, to the individual vehicle owner. The company commits to support Uganda's e-mobility and energy transition agenda, which is currently the focal point in environmental conservation globally. The car is so user-friendly, fully electric, uh, no sound uh, uh, pollution and, uh, and uh, no smoke in it, so it doesn't uh, pollute uh, the environment as well. So it's uh, so affordable for the people to use. Carlosen Investment has been contracted to develop a transit terminal in Boise where the fast charging station of the electric taxis will be set up before being rolled out to other terminals. Dennis Igoa and Juman Samba for UBC Business.